friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another day of Muckmas. Today, we are trying a seafood boil place that I have never been to before. It's called the Wild Crab all the way up in Garden Grove. I am quite excited. I got some shrimp, clams, mussels, potatoes, sausage, crawfish. We have some Cajun fries on the side and then we also have some garlicky uh, escargot, which is so exciting because I don't think I've ever had escargot on screen before. Oh, and corn as well. We also have some rice on the side so we can finish off with the sauce later. And then we also have a special guest. Carlos is sitting on the side of the screen because he does not want to sit in front of the camera today. Hi. <laughs> and he's eating his garlic bread. <laughs> so let's get started. Oh, we also have cucumbers. Duh. I didn't okay. want you to be lonely. Oh, you're so sweet, baby. I know I am. I invited him to be in front of the screen, but he said no, so. How's your garlic bread? You want to try it? No. It's pretty good. Good? Mm-hmm. Out of 10. What, what number out of 10? I don't know, probably like a 7, 8. Okay. So it's pretty good. So we are rating this place today. Again, it's called the Wild Crab. I'll have it probably somewhere on the screen already for you guys. So far, I've had some of their Cajun fries, and I'm going to tell you right now, they're bomb. So good. Mm-hmm. Okay. What should we try first? I just feel like we should go for a crawfish, you know? Do escargot. Well, you already got the crawfish. I'll do the escargot after. So this is the crawfish. I'm so excited. You guys know I love my crawfish. Mmm. Mm. Flavoring's really good. Very spicy. Really? Do you want to try some? I'm okay. Are you sure? Because their flavoring is delicious. Mmm. Mm -hmm. The whole is so good, you guys. I'm going to steal. His hand. His fries. <laughs> My hand has made an appearance before on the muffin. Mmm. I was stealing some of your sausages the other day. I saw. <laughs> Baby. Mm-hmm. I'm going to feel your crawfish, okay? No. Please? You know what? That's okay, baby. Ooh. Okay, so fine. good. You want it now? Okay. Give me a little piece. This is a little piece. Here. Come, my love. Don't drop it on the carpet. I won't. Mmm. Wow. It's actually really good. It's so good, right? Wow, this place is really good. Can you hand me a cucumber? Mm-hmm. <laughs> With the sauce? That's yeah. really good. My love. I just got a deja vu. Mm. Okay. Mm. I'm gonna try a sausage next. What's your rating so far? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> right. I ordered two pounds of shrimp, but this doesn't look like two pounds of shrimp. <clears throat> That's well. What do you think? It just depends how big the shrimp are. Okay, true. How big are the shrimp? That's a pretty big shrimp. Mm, you're right. This place is actually not bad. Very good. Okay. So far, would you eat here again? Oh yeah. Okay. I would choose this place over juicy crawfish. Remember that one time we went to that one place called Juicy Crawfish or whatever oh, yeah. on Euclid? That place was so bad. Okay, so we have escargot here. You guys have never had escargot. It's so good. I'm going to dip it in the sauce. Mmm. That is so good. Ooh. 
It's got some of that garlicky. You see that? Mmm. I wanted oysters today. Should have gotten oysters. They didn't have oysters, babe. Mmm. We have another one. <gasps> My toothpick broke. Dang it. Oh, this one's hard. Ooh, that went on my face. Mmm. The escargot is so good. So. Oh my gosh, I just can't get over how good this is. I would totally go back to this place. So I was looking at the comments people were put, um, leaving on the previous video. Not the one of us, but the one before. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people were wondering how we met. Do you want to tell the story? You slid into my DM. I did not slide into your DMs. And I have proof of it. <coughs> Carlos and I met on a dating app called OkCupid. I was chilling at home. Here he goes. And I saw my notifications. And I saw that like this girl named Kim. Baby. Sent me a message. You guys, I have screenshots of our first conversation ever on this dating app. And I was like, oh, hey, what's up? And she's like, hi, do you want to go out? And I was like, whoa, whoa, I mean, that's kind of fast. <laughs> Let me know when you're done telling this lie. <laughs> no, uh, but, oh, you want to met, talk? Well, I mean, we met on OkCupid. Okay mm-hmm. And she was supposed to go out, I was supposed to go out, but our plans got canceled. Mm-hmm. So I decided to go on there because, you know, I had nothing else to do. It was a Friday night, and Carlos's friends canceled on plans and my friends canceled on me on our plans so I was sitting in my living room I was still living with uh, at my mom's at the time and I was sitting in the living room and I get a and I had just swiped right so on date if you guys are familiar with dating apps like you can swipe left right left if you don't want to talk to them right if you're interested and I had just swiped right and literally five minutes later you DM'd me and I was like okay like I'm kind of bored like whatever and we talked for a little bit and we ended up talking on the phone for like what two hours mm -hmm. and then he's like and then it was like nine or ten at the time and he was like are you hungry and i was like okay like we just started talking but like i feel like i should go out <laughs> so we went to buffalo wild wings and had our first date the very night we started talking and we were at buffalo wild wings for what until close yeah until like 2 a.m and honestly we were inseparable after that day Hey, well, now you have another seafood place you can get food from. I know. I'm really happy about it. Mm. All the other places, do they have uh, escargot? I don't think so. Mm. I could be wrong. You've never actually checked? Mm -mm. I love escargot. Escargot. You would never try escargot, huh? I think I did one time and it was it didn't go so good like so well. Really? Yeah, not for me. It's not a taste thing. It's more of like kind of like a texture? texture. Yeah, wasn't my cup of tea. When it's marinated well, like this one is, it's so good. But only real escargot fans can eat it alone. Oh, like just straight up. Boiled or whatever? Yeah, like straight up boiled with some salt and pepper. Right. Yeah. Do you want corn on the cob? No, I'm okay. Still kind of full. I, Carlos. Um, I, oh, sorry. Go ahead, babe. I ate leftover Taco Bell and it didn't sit so well, so. I don't think Taco Bell is good for the second day. Yeah. 
Yeah. Potato? No, I'm okay, baby. Thank you. Okay. Garlic bread was good. Excuse me while I suck the head. Mmm. So good. I give this place like a solid nine. Is that high? That's pretty high. This place is bomb. I feel like I'm not getting ripped off. Flavoring's amazing. Everything so far is good. I have no complaints. seafood a lot. I love seafood. Yeah. Not a huge... Well, when I was growing up, my mom fed me a lot of seafood. I think that was a problem with me. That, like, you weren't exposed to seafood? Um, no, I think I was. I just didn't like it. It's okay. Some people don't like seafood. Yeah. But, I mean, I've tried it, you know. It's not like I'm just saying, hey, I don't like seafood. Without ever trying it, like I've actually tried it. And like Brooke would never touch this. <laughs> you know, homegirl would run. Yeah. No. Um. Yeah. You know, just try it. You know, and see if you like it. If you don't, you don't. You know, mm. hard. I like shrimp, but there are certain ways that I like shrimp. Like I like shrimp in the uh, shrimp cocktail, like our shrimp cocktail. The ceviche. Yeah. Well, it's not ceviche. Ceviche is different. But um. No, like shrimp cocktail, like the, you know the one I'm talking about. The one that's in a cup and you were all shook because I put ketchup in it. Yeah. I thought one. that was ceviche. No, that's not ceviche, that's cocktail. Mmm, I one. can't do that one. That one to me is so good, like. Uh, see, for me, I can't do that whenever, like. With, I, with some crackers? Yeah, my uh, taste buds are just like a no-no when it comes ooh, to that. Some crackers and everything, oh. It's delicioso. Delicioso. I love like straight up shrimp, like straight up prawns, you know? Alright. Yeah, well, cocktail, they're called mariscos. Isn't there one down the street? Next to La Michelada? I think so. But. I mean, if you want to try mariscos, I have to take you to a place that's good. Because not every place is good, obviously. It's like a seafood place, you know, not every seafood place is good. So, if you go to a, if you go to one that's kind of like mediocre, then it's going to leave a bad impression on you. Of course. You know? So yeah. You have to go to like really good ones. To be like, oh, this is really good. It's like when I tell people to eat pho. Mm-hmm. And they go to like a place that has like shitty pho, they're never gonna eat pho again. Right. It's, I mean, the same with kimchi, you know? Yeah, you like, just gotta go to places that are good, you know? You gotta know the right people to go with you. Right. Mm. Or just do research and see what people are saying. That's why I love Yelp. I go in there for everything. Ooh. Read the reviews, the ratings, look at pictures. Right. I'm like a really visual person. I need to look at pictures. Like, when I read something on the menu, it doesn't, you know. Yeah, I get it. I'm kind of the same way. <laughs> These clams. Mmm. The empty clams don't make me happy. I've tried oysters before. Oysters are bomb. Not my thing. Like, I just straight up slurp them, like, like. You gotta put some, um, Tabasco and some lemon on top. You don't eat them alone. Oh, yeah, you just. You can if you want, actually, but. You straight up just, like. <laughs> 
I was like, nope. Not your thing. Oyster's a hard one for people. Not gonna lie. Oyster is a difficult one for people to eat. I love crawfish. What would you um say that crawfish tastes like, babe? Um uh, I'm not very good at explaining things. Sort of sweet. It's kind of sweet in a way. Mm-hmm. Um I mean, I can't really explain it. I mean, if you've tried lobster, they're very, 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 very similar very to lobster. Similar, except that lobster just has like the, it's just the meatier taste. Like it's, it's. I love lobster. Do you like lobster? I think it's okay. You started liking it when we started dating a little bit. Yeah. It just the. Uh, I like it in certain ways, like if I dip it in the cocktail sauce or something. Yeah. Or like with sauce, but like... Excuse me. When we first started dating, he told me he hated seafood, and I almost died. I almost was going to say no to being your girlfriend. I mean, I don't like seafood. Yeah. It was the deal breaker. Yeah. Um, mm. I mean, like I said, there are, there's nothing wrong with liking something and not liking something, as long as you've tried it. I think if you haven't tried something and you say you don't like it, I think that's just very, like, you know, you shouldn't say that, you know, at least until you try it, because you never know. What if you actually like it? Right. But, no, I've tried it. <laughs> and I've tried fish plenty of times. Oh, yeah, I told them how much you hated fish. Yeah, fish is, like, one of those foods that I can't, I can't do it. I can, I can tolerate salmon, though. I love salmon. I think salmon is pretty good. Salmon is so delicious. Okay, salmon. we have some rice here. We're getting action. Salmon with some white, with some white rice. Oh my god, that makes my taste buds go wild. I can do tuna. Really? Yeah, I love tuna. Oh, I didn't know that. Tuna, like put some tuna, get some bread, put a little bit of mayo on it. Some tuna salad on top. Uh... Drip a little bit of uh, tapatio. Oh, so good. Okay, so Carlos says that mayo and rice is good, and I just cannot get past that. Oh, not, well, not white rice. Red rice. Or if you guys don't like red, it's called red rice, but it looks orange. But it's called red rice. So like Spanish style rice. Yes. It, um, if mm. you put a little bit, if you put a little bit of mayo, like a little like spoonful of mayo. Mm-hmm. And you just kind of mix it up. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Oh my gosh, comment down below if you try that. Or uh, white rice. If you get some white rice, you, you get a little bit of butter, you let it melt on like onto it. Oh, it's delicious. I ran out of cucumbers. You know what I've been craving? Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I took like four cucumbers earlier. They're so good though. I love cucumbers. Ooh, cucumber lime water sounds fun. Oh my god! Right? <laughs> <laughs> Do it again. <laughs> mm. I'm not wearing a bra, so it's actually jiggling. Mm. Mm. My stomach! <laughs> little kids watch me eat. I'm sorry, little kids. Um, I've been really crazy. Oh, well. I satisfy my craving of garlic bread. Yes, thanks to the best girlfriend ever. Probably mine. Alright, moving on. <laughs> Thank you, Max. <laughs> Stop! I've been singing that part like uh, all week. I know, and it's like driving me insane. Okay. Um, I've been craving uh, chicken salad. Baby. Yes. Let's go on a lunch date and let's get some bomb ass salads. Chicken salad. Yeah. No, do you know what chicken salad is? Oh, like a tuna salad? Yeah, except it's oh. with chicken. Yeah, thanks. Thank you, next. What? You really don't like it? I hate tuna salad uh, sandwiches. Not tuna salad, chicken salad. Oh, no, but it's the same consistency. No, it's not. It's completely different. 
A little chicken salad with some mayo, some carrots, some peas. Woo wee! Some potatoes in there. Oh, stop. Oh, no, some good, uh, some good potato salad. Oh, I'm just getting this all over my face. Doesn't Albertson sell chicken salad and potato salad? Albertson's does, baby. I'm about to go get some tomorrow. Remember when we first started dating, we had that date? And then we went to, oh yeah, we got like a container and some bread. Yeah. And I made a chicken salad sandwich. It was really good. With some tapatio. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 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 yeah. So we've been dating for like a year. We've been living together for what, six months? Mm -hmm. We move pretty fast. I know. And a lot of people like, well not a lot. Well, everybody is bound to have their opinion. Right. But you know what, at the end of the day you gotta remember that it's your relationship, no one else's. Right. Mmm. Um, I mean, I think every relationship is different. You know, I think even in your own life, like you can be in one relationship that things don't move as fast, but then, you know, you fast forward and you have a relationship and you just like seem to move fast and like things just seem to be going like faster than you expected, you know? It sounds so cliche. But after like a month of being together, I like kinda, not kinda, I knew Carlos was the one. Obviously people are always gonna say, hey, you're going too fast and this, this and that. But at the end of the day, it's your relationship. If you feel like it's the, the right thing to do or if you feel like it's, you just feel it or something, then just, you know, go for it. It was comfortable for us. Like, yeah, you yeah. know, at it's what end, we wanted. At the end of the day, it's, you know, we were 100% sure about it. it um, if you have any doubts, then that's when you should kind of like backtrack and think about it a little bit. But mm. we're pretty sure about it, so. Do you want any sausage? No, I'm okay, babe. I'm actually really comfortable right now. Mm. I'm so sad I ran out of cucumber. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Baby, I'm sorry. I'm not sorry. I don't know how it sounds. I'm sorry. This was so good. I honestly would give this place, the Wild Crab in Garden Grove, I will link the address down below and their Yelp account if you want to check them out. If you live in the area, highly recommend going. I know this was my first time, but this is a place I definitely would go back to and order some more seafood. I thought the flavoring was absolutely perfect. Perfect amount of flavoring, not too much of every category. Like it wasn't too garlicky, it wasn't too Cajun. Like it was just too so perfect. Spice level was perfect. A little bit spicy, but I can tolerate it. I thought the seafood was really good for its price. The crawfish wasn't like itty bitty, no meat. It was actually perfect size, had a lot of meat on the tail. Shrimp, super impressed. I loved it. Succulent, sweet, fit, tight, like it's good. It was very juicy. Sausage was good. Potato was good. I'm sure the corn on the cob was bomb, but you guys know it. I ain't about that corn on the cob life. Cajun fries were bomb. Escargo, perfection. So I'm gonna just let you know. I mean, it might be a nine and a half out of ten, but it's definitely nine, between nine and a ten. It was so good. Anyways, you guys, thank you so much for joining me. I'm really excited that I got to share this new experience with you guys. Another seafood boil place on the menu now. We So far we have boiling crab, kicking crab, and now we have the wild crab. If you guys know any other seafood places uh, in the area, let me know. I live in the Huntington Beach area, so any places that is driving distance, make sure you guys comment down below and let me know. I know there's one up in Cyprus, or is it Cerritos, that everybody's been try telling me to try. So let me know. I am on this journey where I want to try seafood boil places from so many places around the area. And if you're ever in California, make sure you hit up one of these places. Anyways, I love you guys. If you're new to the family, don't forget to subscribe. Leave some love down in the comments. I love hearing from you guys. Carlos and I literally 
read through these comments you guys make our days i try try my best to reply as much as i can but just know that you guys your comments never go unnoticed we love you so much and give this video a thumbs up i will see you tomorrow for another muckmas day bye my loves